Take it up! Take it up! It was another great week on The Masked Singer, but this week on the Talent Recap Show, we're going to expose the Rottweiler and the Butterfly. So stay tuned. Let the SmackDown begin! Hi, I'm Mel. And I'm Kyle. And welcome to the Talent Recap Show. All right, you guys, so we are recapping The Masked Singer. And another celebrity was unmasked this week. And this week, it was the skeleton, who was Paul Schaefer. And Kyle, you know what that means. You were correct. Your prediction was correct. But I mean, when are you ever wrong? <laughs> I, I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> so how do you feel about this week's The Masked Singer? Yeah, I mean, I think we saw a lot of talented acts this week. You know, when we were just talking through it, trying to figure out who our top three would be for this, I mean, there were honestly, like, all of the performances were pretty good. Aside, I mean, the skeleton wasn't the best. But aside from that, I mean, out of the other five, I'm like, I could see all of these singers going far. I honestly agree with you because I feel like everybody has some sort of talent or at least are pretty good at karaoke and been practicing since before they got on the show. Let us know in the comments below, you guys. How are you feeling about the performances so far? So this week was a bit different because it wasn't really battles. It was individual performances, which I'm feeling right now. How about you? Yeah, you know, I kind of like the SmackDown. I definitely think it served its purpose in the earlier episodes, mm -hmm. but now since we had you know, six singers sing last night, it would have been a lot to also have the SmackDown when the show's only an hour. So I think it made a lot more sense for everyone to just sing one song and then, you know, the audience voted for who'd go home from that. I agree. And I also feel like it kind of gives us a chance to really, like, understand or find out more who the artist is, quote-unquote, because they get to just really own the stage on their own. So let us know in the comments yeah, below if you're feeling the battles or are you feeling the individual performances. All right, you guys, so I think it's time for us to get into our top three moments. Now, there are multiple performances, actually six in this week's episode, but we're going to break it down to our top three. Kyle, you ready? Let's do it. All right. Our number three performance is Flamingo with Footloose. So I got cut I'm obsessed with her. I feel like she's just such a, like when she hits the stage, she gives us that flair, that vibe. She's clearly a singer. Now you yes, predicted she, she was Adrian. Yes, she's so sassy yes. and she owns the stage. She's up there dancing. You, know, you can definitely tell she's a performer. This isn't like her first time up there doing this. And so like you mentioned, I mean, last week we predicted this is Adrienne. And there are a lot of clues that kind of line up with that, that we got last night even, that kind of, you know, reinforced our, our thought on that. All right, and our number two performance is The Butterfly singing Living on a Prayer. Fun fact, you guys, this is my favorite karaoke song ever. Rihanna also said this as well. So it's just like all the amazing people love to sing this song <laughs> whenever they have the opportunity. And I yep. think Butterfly killed it. How did you feel about this performance? Yeah, I mean, I love Butterfly in this. And, you know, I think last time we saw her sing Bang Bang. And in, you know, the, the trailer for the season, we saw her sing Lady Marmalade. So this is something kind of in a different lane. Mm -hmm. But it's fun to see her do that. And she could definitely pull it off. So she has the vocals to do huge songs like this. I think that she definitely has the stage presence. She's been doing this for a while. Now, there's a lot of clues, and I know the people are talking. Who do they feel like the butterfly is? I, I have a feeling you might unmask her later. Hint, hint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will. And uh, you know, the biggest guesses for the butterfly are Mel B, Michelle Williams from Destiny's Child, uh, Victoria Beckham, which we talked about before, yes. and then some other ones that we're seeing are Rita Ora and even Fergie. Interesting. I can see why they're all like a similar vibe and I can see how that comes in. But I'll wait for you to confirm in a couple of minutes who <laughs> yeah, I'll the let you know who it is. is. 
always count on Detective Kyle. And our number one performance of the week was Thingamajig singing Rainbow. To your umbrella, cause darling I'm to shine to tell ya that there's always been a rainbow. Everything is alright now. Hey, let go of your umbrella, cause darling I'm Kyle, to shine. how did you feel about this performance? I mean, I mean this this was a performance, like one of the first ones we saw of this season that was teased before it even started. Yes. And you saw Nicole crying. I mean, this this was an amazing performance and it'll definitely go down as one of the best in the Mass Singer history. You know, I think of this similar to like Stay With Me last year, that yes. T-Pain saying of just being like a big moment. I like, honestly, that's exactly what I was thinking. I When I saw that performance, I'm like, whoever this person is, they want to make their name known on the Masked Singer stage. I mean, like, it's very hard for me to get emotional after certain performances, but like, that was epic. That was epic. <laughs> yeah, and, and I wasn't crying, but you know, one of the craziest things too is that we're predicting that this isn't a singer, that it's someone who's known for being a basketball player. And you know, the judges were kind of picking up on those clues last night too. All right, you guys. So it's that time of our episode where Kyle, our mass singer detective, the light and joy of talent recap, makes his prediction and unmasks two celebrities on this week's episode. Kyle, who are the celebrities you want to unmask on the mass singer? All right, so we are going to give our final predictions for the Butterfly and Rottweiler. Okay, I think I know who the Butterfly is. I'm so confused. I don't know who the Rottweiler is. So let's get into Butterfly first. Who okay. do you well, think? But, okay, let's start with who do you think it is? And we've done this before, but yes. let's, let's test your skills here. And I'm fully convinced that the Butterfly is Michelle Williams. Am I right? You are. You are right. It's Michelle Williams. So let's get into some of the clues that led us to Michelle. You know, she starts talking about how she had a metamorphosis in the past year. Mm -hmm. And about a year ago, Michelle called off her engagement to her fiance. Yeah. And she's also struggled with depression in the past few years. Mm -hmm. um, and so she talks about breakup and breakdowns and you know that kind of directly correlates to what we were just saying um, there are also a lot of references to praying and church She's and Michelle religious. is a very religious woman so that checks out as well uh, in the super sneak peek she mentioned I pray I don't fall and that's referencing you know a famous fall that she had <laughs> can, yes. I, can I just say I just played this for the whole office the other day I remember that moment so vividly but continue <laughs> and she talks about London which is throwing a lot of people off because they think she's someone from London but Michelle actually spent a few years in London she was on Strictly Come Dancing which is a kind of like a Dancing with the Stars type show nice. um, in the UK. And then she also uh, you know, did some like Broadway type shows there. Um, and then she talked about having success in many stages. And so I think that could be referencing, you know, like the stages of her being on, in Destiny's Child and her on all the different stages in, you know, theatrical productions. Um, and then lastly, last night she mentioned very briefly, and I think the judges completely missed this, she said something about everyone was saying her name. And that's a reference to Say My Say Name, my which is name one of Destiny's Child's biggest hits. Listen, if you are a Destiny's Child fan, you know that song. Even if you're not a fan, you've probably heard that song in your lifetime. And that's a major yeah. clue. And um, I'm happy to actually see Michelle, you know, doing the mass Singer because she's been very vocal about her, her mental um, illness and just, like, trying to get better and, you know, mental health awareness. So it's good to see her, you know, taking the stage and showing us, you know, her talents. Yeah, absolutely. And, it ta you know, it takes a lot of courage yes. for this especially singers to come on this show and be part of a singing competition because there's kind of a lot on the line there for you. You know, you have to think about like how much you're putting into this and you're like, what if I lose to a comedian or yeah. a basketball player or something <laughs> like that? So, you know, awesome that she would do this. And I think she'll go far. I think she'll go far in the competition too. Now, Kyle, who is the next unmasking that we're gonna do right now so we are unmasking the rottweiler the rottweiler all right the rottweiler is chris daughtry okay so why is the rottweiler chris daughtry First of all, in the first package, uh, in that one, you saw him kind of uh, in a like dog grooming kind of setting. Mm -hmm. And so I think that hair 
dark hair thing is kind of a jab at the fact that he's bald. He's bald. He's been so bald for like ever. <laughs> A funny, subtle thing. Uh, second, we saw a gold album in the package as well. Or it was an album, then it kind of had a gold casing next to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's referencing one of his albums that went RIAA gold. And he also uh, you know, talked, ha held up the uh, Fantasy Champion ring mm -hmm. and talked about how he got you know, famous basically overnight. And so that's referencing American Idol, obviously, and the fact that he did win, but he ended up being one of the most successful, you know, people coming from American Idol. He really is. Uh, he also talks about blue roses a few times, and uh, he has a blue rose tattoo on his shoulder. Big yep. giveaway, you guys, it's major. Yeah, and then also the record that we saw where I was talking about the Gold Album, the record that we saw said Live on it. Mm -hmm. And the Live is a band that Chris Daughtry covered in one of uh, in one of his most well-known covers. And so, you know, that is a subtle clue as well because it just says Live. And so you're like, oh, this could be like live performances. But that's a very specific clue pointing to Chris Daughtry. And last, in this blue package, he said It's Not Over, which again is one of his biggest songs. Yes. I mean, Kyle... You are so good at this. I've been talking to our bosses and getting you a raise, and I'm gonna keep on I'm pushing that, all right? Because you okay. are amazing, keep you trying. guys. Let us know in the comments below if you agree with Kyle's predictions. I mean, once again, he hasn't failed us any time this season yet, and you know what? I feel like the momentum is going to continue. Kyle, you're great. Thank you. So now it's time for us to get into our comment of the week. So every week we choose one of your comments from a previous video and shout you out love and or hate because we love you guys. And this week's comment of the week comes from Lauren Kominsky, who says, I think that this isn't going to be the first time that we get surprised on who is under the mess. I think that we're going to guess some wrong. So I, is that a little doubt now? Like... Kyle gets something wrong. I don't think that's gonna happen, Kyle. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, you know, what, what was her name who commented this? Lauren. Lauren, I think you might guess some wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're gonna guess some things wrong, you know. But honestly, I'm pretty confident in these. And again, as we see more and more clues from these, I think it just like affirms the decisions that we made and the people that we picked. I mean, after the first clues that we saw about the leper, we were really unsure. We got a lot of people commenting and giving their thoughts on it on our YouTube video for that. And since then, uh, and with the clues last night, we basically have that one solved as well. So stay tuned because we'll have that prediction coming up. All right, Kyle. Thank you so much for once again being our talent recap detective for The Masked Singer. Let everybody know where they can find you on social. Yeah, it's Kid Mont Pleasure on Instagram and Twitter. And, you know, send me your thoughts. If you think I'm wrong on something, maybe I'm missing things. You never know. He might be wrong, but I surely doubt it. But it's always good to argue <laughs> with Kyle because, well, it's fun. And anyways, you guys, you can follow me on socials, double underscore M-E-L-B-A-E, -E, on Instagram, Twitter, all that. But um, please, you know, drop a comment below if you want to be featured in next week's video. And then also let us know, do you agree with our top three performances? Who's somebody that you want to see unmasked in next week's episode? And, you know, we might just choose that person just for you. Um, make sure you head to talentrecap.com for all things talent. So that's all the mass Singer, BGT, AGT, the voice is on right now. So make sure you head to talentrecap.com. And that's our Talent Recap. Hold on. Have you subscribed to Talent Recap yet? Click the subscribe button below and make sure you join the Talent Recap fam and join the conversation in the comments below.